Hello, let's understand what are rational functions and how to simplify them and how to state their restrictions. First, rational functions. So, rational functions in general, let's say Rx is equals to Px over Qx, where P and Q are polynomials. So, rational function is basically a ratio of two polynomials. That is it. This is a numerator and that's the denominator. In these rational functions, you'll always see there will be a restriction. Why? Denominator, as you know, cannot be zero. So we say qx is not equal to zero. So qx could be anything but zero. Why? You can't divide by zero. Okay. That is why a rational function will have a restriction. So here, we have some examples where we are given you some simple monomial ratios and some factored ratios and we will try to understand how to simplify them and how to write their restrictions. Okay, let's go through our examples. A. 6x squared y divided by 2xy. Now, first, when you look at this polynomial, what could be the restrictions? Restrictions could be x and y. There are two variables in the denominator. So we have x cannot be equal to 0 and y cannot be equal to 0. Correct? Because that will make our denominator 0. So any term which can make denominator 0 is set of restrictions for us. Correct? So here we have two numbers which when multiplied can give you 0, x and y. So none of them can be 0. So these are the restrictions for the given rational function. Now simplify. To simplify a rational function, it's like striking off the common factors. Now here you can divide 6 by 2 and what do you get? You get number 3. Then x squared divided by x will give you what? x and y divided by y is 1. So this rational expression can be simplified as equals to 3x. I would like to mention here that this is an equivalent rational function but you know what is the difference between 3x and the original function? 3x as such does not have this restriction but the original function has. Therefore whenever we simplify our uh, rational function we should always state restriction so we'll write this is equal to 3x where x is not equal to 0 and y is not equal to 0. Now 3x is same as 6x square y divided by 2xy. So that is the simplified expression for our rational expression. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. It's very similar to the one given here. So what are the restrictions? I think you got them right. So here a, b and c. All these are not equal to 0. Is that okay? All these will not be equal to 0. So that's our restriction. Now simplify. I think you know now how to simplify it. Numbers. So let me draw a line here. 6 will go 7 times in 42. So we get 7 here. Is that okay? Now a is 1, a, 3 and 2. So we get a here b to the power of 4 divided by b to the power of 2 will give us b square and c over c cube will give us c square. So this rational function can be written as a b square divided by 7c square where a is not equal to 0, b is not equal to 0 and c is not equal to 0. Is that right? Perfect. Now let's look into the next one. It is a rational function where we have 2x plus 1 divided by 2x minus 6. To write down the restriction, what should we do? We should equate denominator which is 2x minus 6. That cannot be 0. This cannot be equal to 0. Is that okay? So that is how we find restriction. So we can solve for x. So we say 2x is not equal to 6. And now we can divide by 2 and get x is not equal to 6. So that is the restriction. Okay. 
Can you simplify this function? Well, some students do simplify it. They will cross out 2 and 2, which is wrong. You cannot cut terms like this or simplify like this. Only a common factor can be simplified. Okay, you that will be wrong if I do this. Okay, so here we can't really simplify it. You can do factor the denominator. Let me do that for you. So this can be written as 2x plus 1 and we can factor out 2 from here. So get 2x minus 3. But see x minus 3 does not have a same factor on the top which can be cancelled. So this is simplified in this form or that form where the restriction is that x is not equal to 6. That's perfect. Here is another example and in this example we are multiplying two rational functions. Now what is the restriction of this? Restriction is that denominator cannot be 0. Denominator of each. Okay. So first we will solve for this denominator x minus 1 is not equal to 0. It gives us x cannot be equal to 1. Okay. And now for that one x plus 2 cannot be 0 x plus 2 should not be equal to 0 which gives us x equals to min not equal to minus 2. Therefore the restrictions are x is not equal to 1 which will make this 0 and x is not equal to minus 2 which can make this 0. Correct? So those are our restrictions. Now let's do the second thing simplify. Here we have some common factors and I think we will be able to simplify something out of it. Can be. 2x 6 the numbers can be simplified right so this will go three times is it okay so that's the only simplification we have here this is x plus 2 and this is x minus 2 so they don't have common factor so after simplification we get we can write this as x times x minus 2 divided by 3 times x minus 1 times x plus 2. Okay? When we write, it's better to write numbers first. Okay, so this is a better way of writing the same expression. Okay. Let's move on to more examples. So these are small examples giving you the big concept of restrictions and simplification. Okay, now I think you understand how to get the restrictions. Restrictions are when denominator is not equal to 0. So here x is not equal to 5 and x is not equal to minus 1 because if I put minus 1 that will make this factor 0 thereby the whole denominator will be 0. If I put 5 here it will make this factor 0 thereby the whole denominator will be 0. So these are our restriction. Now can we simplify it? Let's try that part. The denominator is already factored. Now we will try to factor the numerator. 3x square minus 5x. Do we have something common in between them? 3x is common. So let's take 3x common and we are left with x minus 5. In the denominator we have 3 x minus 5 times x plus 1. Now let's simplify. 3 will go with 3, right? That's correct. And x minus 5 with x minus 5. x minus 5 divided by x minus 5 is 1. And we are left with x over x plus 1. Correct? That's good time to write our restrictions. The restriction is that x is not equal to minus 1 and 5. Correct? Now we can say this is Simplify to that term and that's a restriction. It is important to write restriction here at the end. Why? Because this expression doesn't really show the restriction of 5, right? Because we got that term cancelled out. Let me remind you, some people will cancel 3 and 3, which is not permitted, which will be wrong. Do you see, if I would have done that, then I would have never got 5, right? This factor. So that is a mistake which you should not be doing. Let's move on to another question. Here, this time denominator is not factored. So it is not that easy to see the restriction. 
we need to factor correct so factoring is very important tool which we are going to use in rational functions numerator is difference of squares x square minus 4 square so I can write numerator as x plus 4 times x minus 4 is it right yes denominator we'll use product and sum so what should be the product product should be minus 8 so p times q should be minus 8 and sum should be 2 so can you tell me two numbers which when multiplied you get minus 8 but when you add them you get 2 think about <coughs> minus 8 and 2 so minus 8 you get 1 times 8 is 8 2 times 4 8 8 2 times 4 could be correct now minus that means one of them is positive one of them is negative and difference of 2 2 is positive so bigger number is positive so our two numbers are 4 and minus 2 is that okay so we'll use these two numbers and factor the denominator denominator can be written as x plus 4 times x minus 2 is it okay yes so that is the factored form and from this factored form you can write the restrictions so what are the restrictions restrictions are x is not equal to minus 4 because that is going to give this 0 and x is not equal to 2 is it okay now can you simplify it yes you can you can cancel these two factors which are same and you get x plus 4 over x minus 2 correct again let me use the word restrictions don't forget to write restrictions okay x is not equal to minus 4 and 2 is it okay yes now let's move on to a different kind here we are doing division dividing okay now when you divide now here you are dividing by x minus 1, so x minus 1 should not be 0. It comes in denominator. So first restriction is that x is not equal to 1. This comes from here. Now, you are dividing by this number, this rational function. Here the denominator is x minus 3. Therefore, x cannot be equal to 3 also. Perfect. Now, what is division? Division is reciprocal of multiplication. So, to solve this, we will be writing this as 3x over x minus 1 times times what x minus 3 divided by x minus 2 now when we flip it then this comes in the denominator which was earlier numerator now since it is in denominator it cannot be 0 right therefore another restriction is that x is not equal to 2 so when you are dividing one rational function with another in that case, the divisors, numerator and denominator, both cannot be zero. That is a very important thing to remember. Okay? So always remember this. Therefore, restrictions for this particular case is x is not equal to 1, 2 or 3. Is that okay? Correct. This one, I think you can do before me. Here, we should do we can factor it correct let's factor it x square minus 1 can be written as x plus 1 times x minus 1 correct over 3x and this is division so we'll do multiplication of reverse thing x plus 2 over x plus 1 correct yes and now let's simplify it I am purposely doing simplification first to show you that it is not a good practice. You can cancel out x plus 1. It is a common factor. Correct? Now what do we get? We get x minus 1 times x plus 2 divided by 3x. Correct? So this is a simplified rational function which we got from the given rational function. Now, tell me, what are the restrictions? x is not equal to, from here, 0. But 
don't forget there were so many other restrictions right if you write restrictions at the end after simplification you may miss on many other restrictions and get a wrong answer therefore it is very important to always state restrictions right in the very beginning after factoring before cancelling out the same factors from numerator and denominator that is kind of important now let's get back to a problem now this is a place which is a good place to write restrictions so first as you know if you are dividing we have to write restrictions for from both numerator and denominator because when we divide by that x cannot be minus 2 and when we write it as a multiple then it is flipped and we get x plus 1 in the denominator therefore x cannot be minus 1 either therefore the restrictions here are x is not equal to 0 minus 1 and minus 2 so without that the restrictions would have been wrong it is a good practice to write restrictions first in case of rational functions correct i hope you understand what are rational functions they are ratio of two polynomials where the denominator can never be zero that leads to restrictions and therefore in rational functions it is very important to write restrictions the whole function is valid for every input in the domain of real numbers except for these restrictions so here what is the domain of this function I can write this domain of this as x belongs to real numbers where x is not equal to 0 minus 1 minus 2 is it okay so that is how we have to write the domain of a rational functions taking care of restrictions okay fine thank you